Hey, what's up guys? My name is Travis Monsod and of course you're tuned into my channel Travis Monsod. Now it's been a while since I have done my last video. It's been a couple of hectic, really really hectic and busy months. Uh, new machines, new ways of editing, new uh, workflows. I've actually revamped my whole studio which you'll actually see in a bit. And right now, I actually wanted to make a video first um, explaining how I actually DJ with uh, Recordbox. This is also a little how-to on how I set up my DJ rig uh, when it comes to how I DJ with Recordbox. It's a, it's a very sunny day. This is all natural lighting, no lights in the room. So let's go. All right, guys. So we are here at the house. I have me. I have my MacBook Pro. I have my MacBook Pro right there and for this testing we, we will be using the XDJ1000 and the DJM750 so these two players are actually linked via the link cable in the back as you can see there that's 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 the link cable over there and we'll be routing it to channels 2 and 3 and then audio will be routed to the Behringer which in turn goes to the audio AV40s okay so for this tutorial we will need the following two USB cables for one for each player and another cable for the mixer so a total of three USB cables so this is how we will set up the HID mode when it comes to the Pioneer record box software Okay guys, cable setup is actually pretty easy. Okay, so we have one cable here and that is the audio cable, meaning this is going to the mixer. And then one and two, the other two cables are actually hooked up to the left and right players. And both of them are actually hooked up to a USB hub. Now, why do I need a hub? My MacBook Pro only has two ports. So one port will be taken mm -hmm. by the audio. One port will be for the hub, which will be taking the MIDI signals from each player. So if your laptop has more than two USB ports, then you won't need a hub. But my laptop only has two. That's why I only need a hub and I have all of these. Now, a lot of you may ask, why don't you just use all three in the hub? I actually, over time, prefer the audio signal to go straight from the USB to my laptop. I've come across some hubs that when you mix the audio signal and the MIDI signals, sometimes the hub cannot take it. That's why... I would like only the MIDI signals to go through the hub as the signal isn't as power hungry as an audio signal. All right, so now we're firing up record box. Okay, while that's loading, again, this is for the mixer and the two CD players go to this guy. Okay, so right there. Now we are in performance mode, all right? So before we check everything, I'd like to go to the preferences pane and see that the mixer is actually recognized. Now we are on the external setting in the mixer mode and input deck one. I always use a two, three, one, four configuration as I want deck A and deck B to be in the middle of the mixer. All right, so for the output, Routing, we also have the same 2314. And there you go, record box is already set up. Now onto the onto the players. So right here we press the link. And it will offer me a control mode. And if I press that and I push to connect, I scroll down once, which means a control deck one. And then same with the other one where I can go to control mode, scroll down twice, push to connect, twice for deck two, 
and once I get my songs up and running okay let's do Wonderwall right as you guys can see when I chose my song it actually reflects also on the CD player so I'm in the mood for a little rock press in load that also loads there let's see who plays okay so it's playing right here it's playing right there okay now we gotta see if the audio of course comes in there is no signal coming in that's because we forgot to put it in you are you scared also when it comes to the setup you also get your hot cues You also get the vinyl mode, the master tempo is on, same as the software. So this basically becomes a tactile feel for your virtual deck over there. Alright, there. What's nice with the setup also is we have the loop mode. There you go, that is the record box HID mode. Three USBs and one hub. All right. All right, so that's my version for using HID mode on, with record box on Pioneer Gear. Again, it's very easy. You only need three USB cables and one USB hub. Now, if your laptop has three, USB ports then you don't need the hub obviously but for MacBook Pros we only have two USB hubs sorry we only have two USB ports that's why we need one USB hub all right so again my name is Travis Monson thanks for tuning in it's the vlog cheers